Good day and good morning again. This presentation is all about structure charts. And at the end of this overview about structure charts, you will be able to understand and create or apply the different types of structure charts for your system. So this would be one requirement for your documentation. So what is structure chart? Structure charts are designing tools for describing a system according to its functions. So it means that it shows as much as all possible function of a particular system or of your system or while analyzing and developing the system. And this chart describes the software architecture. So what is software architecture? What does it mean? Software arch architecture is simply the organization of a system. This organization includes all the components on how they interact with each other, the environment in which they operate, and the principles used to design the software. By the way, structure chart is the next step after developing the FD or data flow diagram. But we will use or we can use the context diagram and other UML diagrams as basis or guide in developing your system. The structure chart consists of diagram or consisting of rectangular boxes that represents the modules connecting arrows or lines. Again, the structure chart shows the system module in the relationship between them and it shows the, the size and complexity of the system. This chart has or there are two types of structure charts, the hypo chart and the Warnier or diagram. The most popular type of structure chart is the hypo chart, the HIPO chart which stands for Hierarchy plus input processing output. And this hypo chart has two types that makes up a hypo package. Number one, the hierarchy chart. Number two, the IPO chart or IPO chart. The one shows the hierarchy and the other depicts the input processing and outputs. And again, this is are the two types of hypo chart or HIPO. So, what is a hierarchy chart? The hierarchy chart describes the hierarchy of system functions in a top to bottom manner. It means that the system is the top level, the second level is made up of the major functions of the system, for the third level, each of the major functions is broken down into sub-functions. It is a design phase. The hierarchy chart is a design phase tool with a detailed le level about equal to intermediate level system flow charts. Just like for example of hierarchy chart of a customer billing system, again, when you create a hierarchy chart, the system is the top level, then the next level is the major functions of the system, and the third, the major functions, no, which is broken down into sub-function. So from the top, which is the system, next is the major function, and next one, the sub-functions of major function. Okay, the next chart is the IPO chart. The next type of HIPO or HIPO is IPO chart or input processing output. IPO chart, this chart describes each functional modules of hierarchy chart by listing inputs, processing, steps, and outputs. So you need to list and understand what are the inputs, how these inputs will be processed, and what is your expected output. Remember, if there is an input, there must be an output. 
Another one is that the IPO chart do not show hierarchy. It does not show hierarchy. It is normally prepared for each function shown on the hierarchy chart. We have here an example of IPO chart for customer billing system. As you can see, the, the list of identified inputs. Inputs are process. How this input will be processed. In what way this input will be processed. After all the inputs will be processed, you will need to identify or analyze the expected output or desired output for your system. So, and it is clear that the IPO chart are used for input-output analysis. As you can see on the example, the input, let's say sales data or payment data, the sales data will be processed on how the sales data will be processed and you come up with the output let's say the transaction file you can also include the the you can also include the the reports you have the list of reports inventory reports just like that okay uh, let's proceed another diagram is one year or diagram one year or diagram is essentially a hierarchy chart drawn from left to right rather than top to bottom. And it uses brackets to group sub function and relate them to their higher level function. As you notice, they are simple in appearance and easy to understand. It gives more emphasis on functions rather than data flow. We have here an example of one year or diagram for customer billing. Take note, it is drawn from left to right, unlike with hierarchy, which is from top to bottom. As you have observed, the name of the system, as you observe the name of the system, is from the left. Next is the group of functions. This one, the group of functions, and you have the sub functions. This is the way you create a one year or diagram. Uh, probably we will use one between hierarchy and IPO chart. So as you can notice, the, the name of the system is from the left and the group of functions and sub function is from the right. So that's all for now about structured diagram. Hope you understand and do the task uploaded in Schoology account. Probably, again, we will use the hierarchy or IPO chart.